Welcome everyone to today's webinar where we're going to talk about reports in ALM Octane. In this session, we'll cover the different reporting options you have available in Octane, some handy tips when starting with reports, and of course, we'll look at some of the latest enhancements. A natural place to start with reports is, of course, the dashboard module. When you first access this, you will see some default widgets. This has an easy to change layout if you need more screen space for certain widgets. And if you want to create a new dashboard, I recommend to start by clearing your existing dashboard and start with a clean slate. And then you can use this plus sign to add widgets to your own custom dashboard. So if you already have a good idea about what you want to measure, there's a large number of widgets out of the box. They're categorized here on the left. You can search as well on the top, or you can even add your own custom graphs with different display options. But as a first step, I recommend to look through the dashboard templates, which was introduced earlier this year. So a template is a selection of pre-configured widgets and you can use the help icon next to each template to see which role would find it useful and the questions it will help you answer. So here we have the Agile quality, which is aimed at QA managers who need to understand where the bottlenecks are in the testing process and identify problematic areas. Then we have release management, which is geared towards project managers who needs to understand how things are progressing and if we are on track to deliver on time. And then cross-release trends and analytics is for managers who need to understand trends and evaluate the development costs. So we'll now go ahead and add this template to a new dashboard. And one question I get from many new users is if you can have multiple dashboards. And this is done through the favorites option. So here I'll go ahead and create a new favorite simply by giving it a name. I can choose to share this with everyone or with specific teams, but I will save this for now as my own personal favorite. I can now go to the load manage option to manage my favorites. Here I can see all my favorites and depending on permissions, I can delete them. I can share them at a later stage with my teams or all Octane users. I can copy the link or I can load the favorite. And if I make any changes, then I will now see this slash across the favorites icon to show I have have unsaved changes. And I can now update my favorite to reflect the latest changes. Let's look at some of the latest widgets and improvements in Octane. We recently introduced the traceability graph widget, which reflects the relationship between two entity types. You can set filters on both elements, and this is what we can see at the top graph. This shows all my team's features and the defects that covers them grouped by the status. Another improvement is the option to create graphs for the release processes. On the bottom graph, we can see my release processes grouped by status and the owner. In the latest SAS release, we've also included quite a few improvements. In the quality by application module or heat map widget, you can now display specific application modules or filter by application module fields. If you have a tabular display widget, you can now select an item and then drill down to display the relevant entities related to the selected item. We also have a new widget that shows you the execution of your planned runs over time, which enables you to track your test execution plan. And a new icon shows the latest widgets for the last couple of versions, so a great way to keep up to date. 
coming soon will be the option to share a public link of a dashboard favorite. Using this public link option, you'll be able to share the dashboard with users who are not set up as Octane users. You can also embed the dashboard in a presentation or an online document, such as SharePoint, intranet sites or emails. The public link will be able to display live data from Octane in read-only mode. So the dashboard is great for viewing and sharing the latest data in pre-configured graphs. However, there's also a lot of useful dynamic data within the modules, which allows you to do much further analysis. So if we go into the backlog, the quality or the pipelines module, we will notice this overview tab. When we select that, we will see a lot more widgets is available. And some of these widgets are actually custom to the specific module. For example, this expert users is specific to the quality module. We can now move through the folders and we can see this will now change my widgets to show a subset of the data. And on top of that, I can even add additional filters to get even more granular. So this is great for seeing the latest data in dynamic graphs. We also recently introduced quality risk analysis, which you can also access from the quality module. This helps you identify areas in your product with a high quality risk. You'll notice these color-coded star icons in the application module tree, which gives you quick visibility to the risk level. And you can then select the risk tab to get even more insights. We also have a new feature timeline. This is a new grid timeline view in the features tab. This will show you color-coded bars for each feature to show how it's progressing across the release timeline. The bars are also positioned according to the feature start time and the target milestone. So as you can see, we have a lot of great reporting options inside Octane. But what if you need to get data out? For example, if you need to send reports via email. Well, we do have several options available to get reports out of Octane. First, let's move into the dashboard module. So here I can export an image of a widget, which is useful if you need to send an email report and you want to include images. And as you can see, the download automatically starts as soon as I select the option. I can also export summary graph data to Excel. The useful thing here is it actually gives you all of the raw data. It allows you to edit it and create your own Excel graphs based on that data. And finally, we have the document reports. So in here, I've already created my own autofill options for this. So if I go to the settings tab, I have options to set the name, the description, even choose the file format to Word or PDF, and I can upload lo logos uh, or set my header and footer text. In the content, I can select, I have currently selected to report on my manual tests and the last run for each test. We have a brand new improvement in Octane when I select to add a custom section, I can now attach images. As you can see, I can simply drag and drop an image or I could use an image URL. So this could be really useful if I wanted to add my own analysis to a report and include images. So when I now generate this report, I can continue to work on other items in Octane and then Later, I can access this report from the My Work section. So this was a very quick report, so it has already downloaded for me.
And when I now go through this, I can see my image in the custom section, as well as my selected tests and run data. In the latest Octane release, we also have improvements to the widget export to Excel. When you are exporting data, you'll now see two Excel sheets. So one is the data sheet, as we saw before, which contains the raw data. But there's also a new summary sheet, which includes a summary table and graph. The important thing to remember is that the exports and the document reports are snapshots in time. With that, I mean that the data is static from the moment you exported it from Octane. But sometimes you want to show the latest data outside of Octane. For example, you might have a dedicated external reporting tool where you want to show everything. OData is a standard protocol supported by most major reporting solutions. ALM Octane supports the OData version 4.0 protocol. Some of the most well-known reporting tools that support this solution is Excel and Power BI. And just to get you started, we have example template reports for those tools in the MicroFocus Marketplace. So let's have a quick look at one of the Power BI uh, template reports. So when I first open up this pre-configured template report, I am asked to enter some information to configure my connection. So here I've entered the name of the release I want to report on and my OData URL. It will then ask me to authenticate and I'll choose to use basic authentication. Depending on my Octane settings, I could use my Octane username and password. But in this example, I have created an API key and I am entering my client ID and secret. I'll also select the URL containing the workspace ID of the workspace I want to report on. OK, so the connection data is now confirmed. And as you can see, it's now going through and evaluating the data and downloading it through to the report. And this will take a little while to load. OK, so the data is now loading into my report. And very soon, I'll now be able to see my run data, which is one of the items I selected. And I have multiple tabs. So in another tab, I'll have my features, which are covered and not covered by my test runs. And this is all for this session. Thank you very much for listening. And please keep your eye out for any future MicroFocus webinars.